Stick the bunny in the grinder panel. Use bunny. Oh, I see. Use left analog stick to fight the machine. It seems mean to put your only pal, you know, into a grinder. If I chop you up in a meat grinder, and the only thing that comes out that is left of you is your eyeball, you're probably dead! So, we're gonna check out more weird PS2 games. Ghost Vibration. That sounds just wonderful. I don't know if we're gonna find another Pointy's Point, but the PS2 had a large fucking library, and there's so many games that I have never seen or heard of. Okay. I'm picking up Ghost Vibrations. Okay, good. I'm glad we needed to see all that. 2002. I feel like we really got the atmosphere. Our tune is behind Yoshi's Island DS onwards. Oh, no shit. Are they responsible for the kazoos? Hey, listen. Are you still into all that ghost hunting stuff? Sure am. Mostly it's just a hobby, though. Then you wouldn't mind sending me over one of those ghost hunting kits, would you? What are you gonna do with it? That's none of your business. Hey, I've gotta know. Human conversation. Mike Stoklaza played this game. And only this game. All I wanted was the ghost wow, those are some characters! <laughs> I will fuck up your face! <laughs> it may not look it, but that is the ideal is human story? face. For anyone complaining about, about like, art old. styles in modern it's stuff, look, look to this. To see the way. Well, this is right up my alley. This ghost hunter's going with you. I hate it. Why is he wearing like a lab coat? It's like Cypher from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> I've got that figured out already. I am a professional, you know. Oh my god, Look, these move- This, is really this mouth movement. I know that. Really chewing but on those words. Understand. This game is already an infinite emote right generator. <laughs> it's a spear gun. You use it to exercise evil spirits, and also to divine the past. <gasps> your nose! Oh, I thought he was gonna say, your character model is weird. Is someone doing a- You're the Shockmaster. Hey, stop! You're Mark. I actually feel like the cutscenes take away from the game. Which is a rare achievement. That was a ghostly noise, was not it? Ghostly? I don't see a goddamn thing, but alright. It could be emulation errors, but don't say that out loud. I think it's broken. Maybe it's better this way. Oh. I guess we're doing corruptions. <gasps> so this is what the game is supposed to play like. I see. I mean, I see what they're going for. The cinematic camera angles, and then action rail shooter gameplay. I, I get it. Well, you get the idea, chat. I mean, it's cool in some ways, and the character models are like a gift. Speaking of, here's a game called Gift. Don't you love when a company's logo seems like the game itself? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we are getting some great character models tonight. Fucking Carlin Nescar. Princess. I've got everything you could ever want in all the right places. My sweet prince, my <laughs> sweetheart, you will have to Stop face your eyelids. Day. If you come to wake me with a kiss, you will win my heart. And the lips! Whoopee! <laughs> okay, I'm your man. Yep. Okay. So you play as Horny Goblin.
Wow, I played for two whole seconds. Chat, this is the slowest fucking shit. Just choosing a level is a nightmare. Look at these little shadows, they live in the light and they only... Their only fear is the dark. Okay... They cannot stand to be in the dark, well done. Is it a puzzle game? Is it a, a platformer? Is it, like, sex? Controls are fine to move around, but the camera is very sluggish. Yeah, I mean, like, just turning your imp is slow and weird, and it's not fun. Are those tubes of toothpaste? Yeah, the sound design is bad, but I'm chalking some of it up to the emulation. Like, I'm hearing weird scraping noises. What was that noise? I, I guess we're juggling now. All right, his head's on back. Are, uh, okay, those are pokeballs. Are those poke? Are those pokeballs? Look at this cool animation. What is that even? What is it? What does it represent? I don't know what it means. I, I feel kind of like even though I'm walking around, I kind of feel like I'm floating. This game is supposed to be a parody of adventure game tropes of the time. I've taken some elements from Crash Bandicoot Tomb Raider and have developed a hybrid of the platform action adventure to create a contemporary, sophisticated, and unique game. Sophisticated is not a word I would have immediately glommed onto for a game such as this, but, you know, you do you. It's sophisticated in how much it makes me want to jump out of my own skin. This is the ending of the gift, because I hate it so much, I don't care about spoiling it. Of course. Do you think for a second she would have saw that little thing, that red thing with the weird frumpy ass, and the weird eyes, and the weird face, and the weird annoying voice and the crust and the red skin and the and the fucking foreskin and and the rot and disease and thought for a second this is my prince i will elope with him it is a sophisticated game telling a sophisticated story whiplash is the next game we'll play i think that's an appropriate title for how some of us are feeling at the moment i'm sure but hey let's continue Choose your icon. I, they're too fucking small. I can't see what I'm looking at. This looks like bootleg Samus. This looks like bootleg Luigi. Just... And it's just Mike Stoklaza as a ghost. Genron is dedicated to bringing you the most exciting products this side of your face. Okay. We're about you. All about you. Oh God, Genron. stop that. The secret is animals. We here at Genron overlook their lack of previous job experience and put them to work in our factory. And if that doesn't work, we merge them into new and improved animals uh -huh. in our genetic recombinator. We can combine two animals <laughs> into one. Can you imagine a weasel rabbit? Don't you love it? Yeah, oh it God, definitely feels like the mid-2000s again. <laughs> uh, hey, which way did they go, boss? This feels like a precursor to Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Daxter. I could really use a deep tissue massage. Do you know the secret to defeating the humans? Give them smartphones. Time to move. Follow my voice. Can you do me a favor and stop breaking everything? I enjoyed that. This puts that other game well, to shame. What was it called? Murder, Things? Oh god. Oh, uh, wait till Peter hears about this. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. This is basically that gift game done way better, uh, gameplay-wise. Uh, I just feel bad for this rapid. Scientist 47. Also, I kind of think that the theming of what we're doing here is kind of funny. Here's another fine example of human barbarism. The hamster cannon. Wait, 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 okay, hang on, hang on. It's still I including the humor of shooting hamsters at a wall, which I don't know if you remember the, the Flash games of like the late 90s, early 2000s, but that was like a genre of humor at that time. No ball. Whoosh. So this is very much that, except 
because it's, you know, a more sophisticated society uh, six years later or so, they're just flipping the humor is that the scientists are the bad guys and you get to kill them. Excellent work. Someone just wrote, yeah, it's busted. What? This is like sensory overload as well. Yeah. Oh, the monkey is fucking wilding on him. Chimpanzees can, like, they rip off your balls. If this wasn't a video game, that would be a gruesome sight. Just avoid chimpanzees if you see them. Don't get them angry. No, no, you're welcome, chat. I, listen, I'm here. I'm here to help. What's going on? Oh god! Oh god! Just infinite talking and, and monkeys beating the shit out of humans. Now you can diagnose and perform surgery from the comfort of your own home. Oh. Your good friends at Genron have developed the greatest body support on Earth. It's the Fatress. Yes, the Fatress. The oh God. <laughs> they're they're going for whatever target they can. But it's okay, because they're making fun of humans. I mean, I give the game credit for trying to be about something, and the gameplay is actually good, mostly. I mean, it's very tight corridors, so the camera does get a little claustrophobic. This seems like a solid five-hour game, and people are saying it's like 13 hours or so. You haven't even gotten to the real meat and potatoes of it yet. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it's up to you whether or not you find this game funny, but I think this is the best game of the segment. This gets the gold medal for me tonight. So Altered Beast was a Sega game. It's on the Genesis. And I guess this is an attempt at a reboot. Why is there a helicopter? Wait, why is it gritty? Why are there Marines? Uh, this isn't what I thought Altered Beast was. What the hell are we doing out here? They got us flying over toxic freaking fumes. And for what? Emergency pizza delivery. You could have had me guess for three years straight. I never would have guessed that this was Altered Beast. I thought it was a dude with thick thighs and thick muscles with a sword that turned into a beast. Ugh. Ugh, it's altering time. Yeah, it looks like Devil May Cry Virgil. Genome. Chip. Mm. Ah. Genome, so Genome soldiers. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh god, the fingers! Ah! Oh, this is like full-on body horror shit. He's morbid out. Yeah, it's a beat -em up kind of thing. The camera's really easy to fight against. It's not like a Bayonetta or a Devil May Cry. There's no lock on as far as I can tell. I had no idea this game existed. I thought Altered Beasts was just that one game. Wait, am I attacking legs? I mean, there's, there's upgrades. Yeah, so you can, like, use your genomes to upgrade. This is as appropriate as a morb meme can get. <coughs> Vinny, this game is basically Sonic Unleashed. Wait, wait, there was a Sonic game where Sonic transformed into a monster? Wow, Sega really never knew what to do with that hedgehog, huh? What am I gonna do? What can I do? Where do I go from here? They just did everything. Nice smile. Apparently there's an Aqua Teen Hunger Force PS2 game. Didn't know this existed either. I, I, I don't know, I'm just looking to uh, be on a PlayStation 2 game. Hey, where's the meat? Where's the little meat fella? This was one of the weirdest fucking cartoons. Like, I don't, chat, I gotta be honest. I never watched a ton of Aqua Teen. I think I watched more of it than I thought think I did. And the reason I don't know for sure is because it was during college and I was enjoying a lot of, you know, don't do weed because then you won't remember Aqua Teen Hunger Force, chat. See, you get a firm grip and let her rip. Right into his window. I yes. Hey, what are you doing? Ah, our next lesson. I heard a smash <laughs> and I knew that it was my house. Bring them, like so. Hey, I'm talking to you. Using the X button. What? What's an X button? Oh. 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 Imagine someone yeah. seeing this for the first time and not having any information about Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I am afraid of rodents. Yes, it's golf. you are. Oh, it looks like my PS2 is a little corrupted. What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> yeah, Carl is just like a dude. 
and he has to like deal with like a, a a chicken nugget and fries and a drink and they just keep fucking up his life good job carl couldn't afford an ac anyways go to the sand trap in the backyard oh okay semi open world golf swing just like before and try to get a few balls into carl's pool yeah that's not happening Oh my. Like, son, you're not getting it. Oh my it's god. You he can't even get it into my pool. What are you doing? Oh, well, this is a bit quiet. I don't even try to do the impression, okay? That's it. Hit a few more in, because this is all that happens in the whole game. <laughs> At least there's some honesty. I know you go. Got him in the pool. Now, this is the last thing. Let's yeah. do some putty. Putty? I'll do putty. What do you want me to putty? I love putty. I like cheese. I eat putty all the time. <laughs> Yeah, this is, yeah, it's about right for Jersey. Every tree should be cut down. Trees do make oxygen, Cyber Ghost. I just defecated in that creek over there. Well, I mean, they got the humor of the show. What the hell is Sterling? Fuck. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, you get, right, you have to fight enemies? You have to fight enemies on your way to the ball. There's that fucking. That's the sound effect! It's the sa Star Fox Adventures sound effect. Chat, this is just the Mario Golf. The new Mario Golf game is doing this, but like 15 years later. Well, the combat is extremely simplistic. Um, not that I was expecting anything terribly complex. Look at my eyes. I'm here for some. What were you gonna say, Frylock? Can you finish the sentence? I'm here for some practical jokes. Oh my god. We just <laughs> This is good. Like lice spray. <laughs> what is this cube? Why is there a cube? I don't know all the references. Is it smut? Chat, there's smut on the ground. It's Jersey? Well, we don't... As far as I'm aware, in New Jersey, there are, isn't just porn on the golf courses. Carl? Wait, I have to fight Carl? I can't injure Carl. Am I not doing any damage to Carl whatsoever? We're just gonna fight over this porno mag <laughs> real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, why does Shake look like a Johnson? Oh, speaking of Johnson, <laughs> this fucking game is gross. Smut on the ground. Carl grabbing his fucking weird cock. Carl is the hardest boss in video game history. Confirmed. Well, that was weird. time, man has loved to race. And then, man took to the air. And now, the sky becomes the arena for the greatest race of them all. A competition that is drawn in from some scummy all characters. So what are you waiting for? Jump in your plane and get freaky! With David Spade! Chris Farley! Mike Myers! The 1976 New York Knicks! Oh boy. So they're- they're just taking all the stereotypes. Mick Bungadoo? Tracy Torpedoes? Um, Paul Achi? Professor Gutentag? Good job! Good job! Sheik Abdul. Oh my god. Island Jack. Andre La Toilette. Sammy Wasabi? Sammy Wasabi. Ah. Man, there sure are a lot of big boobies in tonight's weird PS2 stream. Wait a minute. Why are the iron crosses on her nipples? This game was supposed to release in 1997, but it took until 2003. Did they put all the effort into the intros? Yeah, I don't know about this. Is this Diddy Kong Racing? Kind of? How do you fly faster? I mean, it's kind of kart racer-esque. Uh, I don't like the controls very much, though. They're very, like, springy. You, you just kind of spring back to looking straight ahead. Which... You're, you're just constantly fighting. Being able to, like, shoot down trees is all well and good, too. So that you can, like, maybe get one of your opponents with a tree. I actually like the flying levels in Diddy Kong Racing quite a bit. This is kind of close to that. I'm not as into the controls as I would like to be. Okay. Oh, I see. So there's like objectives while you're 
mid-game. And the frame rates are good. I mean, there's definitely positives to the gameplay. They just gave up when it came to characters. They were like, how do we create a cast of new characters, interesting characters? Oh, we just accentuate every potential <laughs> stereotype. And you can see her butt. Because of course you can. You're a fool. And I hate you. And gravity is defied. Are there interactions like this for every character? If you feel brave, here is a playlist. Chat, there are 13 videos for each of the characters with all of their cutscenes. Each one is almost 10 minutes each. So if we were to just sit here and watch cutscenes, it would be movie night. Aliachi, legendary crime boss. Oh, of course. I'm, not a crime <laughs> boss. I'm just a small businessman. <laughs> oh yeah, what kind of, of course? I'm. So why are you in this race, Polly? It's for my mama. She wants me to win the race. She the race. Also a criminal, by the way. Mama's helping me out. She's ruthless. I mean, she's good at business. <laughs> Every stereotype is here. It's like, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like Smash Brothers. Vinny, please play the intestinal level. What do you mean intestinal level? Attention, freaky flyer. You are I can't fathom why we lost 500 viewers playing this game, the side by the way. Playing. Hint, watch out for the polyps. Oh, of course it's disgusting as well. But yes, much like every 80s cartoon had uh, some episode where they had to shrink and go into the human body. I mean, what can I say? It's it's just a very basic level. I mean, they attempted to go for variety. I mean, it's not just another race level. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna take a risk here, and I'm gonna check out one... one more thing here. Sammy Wasabi, Japan's top secret weapon and genius aeronautic engineer. Excuse me, down here. Hi, nice to meet you. Named Genius of the Year three times in a row by Japanese Genius Magazine. Sammy has been building fighter attack planes since he was two years old. This was a mistake. Now Sammy Wasabi builds planes so complicated, he's the only one who can fly them. His masterpiece, uh, the Kamikaze Express. Why would it- Of course. Chat, you knew it was going to be that. You knew it. You knew it. We all knew it deep down it was going to be that. How could it not? They just, in the the writer's room or whatever, they were just like, well, throw it all in there. <laughs> oh, they couldn't resist it, could they? This was the kind of thing that, you know, it was the time. And again, if it was aimed at 15-year-olds, then yeah, that's what they wanted to do and they did it. I mean, hey, I got my comeuppance too. They basically said all Italian mothers are mafia criminals. <laughs> and that's your weird PS2 games for tonight. I do have more, but that will be a future segment. Yeah, I can just play Pointy's Point forever. I'll just keep playing that. What the fuck, dude? I appreciate the strange stuff that isn't the average stuff. So, you know, we'll keep digging and we'll keep looking for the weirdest stuff possible and the most voice cracks. Chat is just full of jokers, you know? Just like, really, you guys should write for TV shows. We write for you. Yeah, but you should write for, like, Velma. Vinny, you didn't have to kill chat that badly. Uh, it's okay. Once in a while, we can give chat a little something. It's fine. We're all, listen, we're all friends here. We're all here for the same reason. We love trash, you know? So, you're, we're here for the same stuff. We, we need crust and weird things to make life a little less boring. And that's, and that's why we're here together, chat.